Hi everyone, in this video we will discuss about maintenance section. Now maintenance comes under support module. So before discussing about the maintenance schedule and maintenance visit, let's first understand what is the purpose of maintenance section? Why is the maintenance section important? Now consider that you have a business where you are selling a products or items which requires regular maintenance. Now the example of such products or item could be air conditioner, it could be water purifier. Now if you see water purifier, it regularly requires a maintenance, that is we need to either clean the filter or replace the filter on a regular basis. So that was an example of maintenance, that was the purpose of this maintenance section. Now let's see, so in ERP Next we got maintenance schedule and we got maintenance visit. So maintenance schedule includes all the dates or at which you need to make a maintenance visit. Now we'll see, we'll create a maintenance schedule and then we will understand it better. So usually maintenance schedule is created, can be created from a sales order. So here if you see, I am right now in the sales order list. So I'll go to sales order and let's say I'll add it for now here if you see we have order type that is sales maintenance and shopping cart so consider that this is a maintenance order type and the customer have ordered air conditioner and delivery date let's say today So we have created an order of a maintenance type for this particular customer. Now next thing what you can do is go ahead and click on create and here if you see you get the option for maintenance schedule as well as for maintenance visit. Now it is recommended to create a maintenance schedule first. So let's go ahead and create a maintenance schedule. Now consider that for this particular item that is air conditioner we need to have at least two maintenance visit a year. So here I can say the start date today and here if you see we have the option for like whatever intervals we want to select. Now consider it as half yearly and number of visits too. Let's save it. Please select a salesperson. Okay. So one more thing that is we need to also make sure that we are selecting a salesperson who will be responsible for maintenance visit over here so i can just go and create a new salesperson let's say that salesperson is joe and let's save it now next what i'll do is i'll click on save so here if you see we got the schedule auto created and if you see the date it is created like properly it is half yearly basis now next thing i'll do is i'll click on submit now this is done over here that is we have created a maintenance maintenance schedule for this particular customer for this particular item now next thing we need to do is we need to create a maintenance visit so in this maintenance schedule we are just we have just specified all the dates at which we need to make the maintenance visit so now i'll go and create maintenance visit you need to select the item from here and you need to select the date now consider that this is the date for which i'm creating a visit and here you need to add the status consider that the visit is fully completed and you can say that what what was the work done you also need to mention that here if you see it is mandatory so let's say that repaired fans and save it now one thing to note is that after it is submitted you won't be able to change the completion status so in case it is partially completed and then you click on save and then you click on submit this completion status you won't be able to change it. So make sure to only submit this maintenance visit after it is fully completed and after it is fully resolved. So next thing I'll do is I'll say fully completed and I'll just click on save and submit. So now if you see it is fully completed and we also now I'll go back to that maintenance schedule and here if you see, let me just refresh it. Mm -hmm. 
here if you see we have the actual date that is of today's date and uh, the completion status is fully completed now this actual date like I just took it as an example right now the schedule date and the actual date so that's how it is that's how maintenance schedule and maintenance visit both work now one thing is like we can also create a maintenance visit let me go to the add maintenance visit so here you can also create a maintenance visit from the warranty claim that is one of the option and we can also create it directly from the sales order so i hope you understood everything about the maintenance visit as well as the maintenance schedule and thank you so much for watching